This is a small tutorial for dynamic keystroke. Dynamic keystroke can really get the most out of your Wooten keyboard. It allows you to bind multiple keys on a single keystroke, but you can control when these keys activate, and it's real easy to use. You can bind dynamic keystrokes in any of the analog profiles. Just head over to one of your analog profiles and jump to DKS settings. In this overview, you'll see a layout of your Wooten keyboard. When you hover your mouse over the keys, you can see a small plus icon. Simply click on it to add your first DKS key. Now you can start editing the DKS key itself. You'll see in the overview a 4x4 table. On the header row, you'll see four icons indicating the key position. The first icon is at the start of the press. The second icon is at the end of the press. The third icon is releasing the end of the press. The fourth icon is releasing the entire key. On the left hand, you can see four boxes. This is where you can bind your keys. So let's start with a simple DKS binding, which we call the two-state key. The two-state key is very simple. In a first-person shooter, most of the time, you can either walk or sprint. Now we want to bind these two actions on a single key. So to get this on one key, we're first going to bind the W key. You can left-click the box and click on the key you want to bind. On the second key, we want to bind Shift. Now we're going to choose when to activate W and when to activate Shift. So we want through the entire press to activate W. So we can simply click and drag over the entire row until the end. Then for the shift key, we want to make sure it only activates when we hit the end of the press and it deactivates when we release the press. And this would make your first DKS binding. Now to double check if the DKS binding is working as you would expect, you can press the DKS key and see a preview in the DKS binding bar. Now I'm pressing W very slight and W activates. And when I press it to the end, you can see that shift started to activate as well. When I slightly let go of the key, you can see that shift deactivates. I can press it down until the end again to activate shift or I can release the entire key to deactivate all the keys. Lastly, it's also possible to trigger a key once. You simply click one of the plus buttons and you'll see a circle shape appear. This means the key will be triggered just once instead of it being repeated all the time. Dynamic Keystroke really allows you to do a lot of different things. There's a lot more complex examples, such as this one from Fortnite, but there's also some very simple examples, such as disabling a key by not binding any key, reprogramming a key by binding a different key, or choosing a different activation point for your key. There's a lot of different possibilities, and we really encourage you to share your DKS bindings with the community. If you have any questions or issues, you're welcome to reach out to us.